Hey, what is up everyone? This is Rattlehead coming at you guys with another video for Mortal Kombat 1. A uh, patch for February 28th, 2024 is out at the time of recording this video. And uh, of course, Peacemaker is out. Janet Cage is coming out in March. So there's more content coming up for this game. Uh, as we're going through the combat pack and all that good stuff. But of course, the focus of this is to give you guys an update for accessibility specifically for blind players so of course r just to recap uh, everybody knows that a playstation 5 xbox series s and x and a pc have implemented screen reader support now and of course additional sound cues and all that other stuff so if you're interested in those be sure to check out my other videos where i went over th those things in more detail but anyway what i want to talk about is a few things that uh we as the community and the, and the blind fighting game community were requesting and uh, pretty much I would I'd say all of all of those things have been implemented so let's look at into those real quick uh, the first thing of course is the screen reader itself there is a new option if you go down screen well it's not a new reader, option screen reader voice but it's always been there descriptive audio screen reader voice descriptive audio color blind Let me see. Uh, screen, screen reader volume there we go so that's not a new uh, new uh, toggle, I'm sorry, but it, it's it was obviously it worked during uh, you know the previous patches, and then what happened was uh, Netherum Studios, of course, worked with uh, you know like uh, Xbox, uh, PlayStation, and uh, you know the PC team also now just implemented uh, the uh, their how they do the screen reader, which well, I'll get into the PC port actually in this video to sh uh, showcase something that it has over the PlayStation 5 version. Uh, but anyway, so now you can actually uh, toggle the volume like we used to do before they switched to uh, the PlayStation 5 uh, screen reader. 50, 60, 70, 70, 80%. So as you can tell, 85, 90, 95, 100%. It gets really loud now. 90, 100%. To the point where it's almost sounding like it's getting distorted button. a little bit, but... Of course, 60%, I have mine at 50%. Right I, to me, button. that's an ideal Change. volume. Uh, so that is that is huge. Um, of course, a lot of players are still requesting a speech rate. We want this to speak faster. So if I press my PlayStation 5 button here, it's, you're going you're gonna to notice that we use our uh, screen readers pretty fast. Control Center for Carlos Vasquez. The time is now 7.22 p.m. Cards. So there you go. Um, you know that that's it's to kind of give you guys an idea uh, of how we usually use our screen readers, right? So there's not there's no speech rate in this yet. So hopefully uh, NRS can implement that implement that somehow. Uh, I think that'll be that'll be great. But this game is becoming way way more accessible as the time goes on as each patch comes out. So that's cool. Uh, another thing that I want to touch on is actually. Um, it has to do with uh, cameos. So, and in the in the uh, extra audio sound cues uh, right underneath uh, navigation, there is a new section now of sliders called cameo form, and that is basically for characters that have different variations or different characters. Of course, I'm talking about Tremor and Chameleon. So you can actually go in here and uh, mess around with those sounds by themselves. Uh, so that's really cool because we have, Extra navigation, of course, we had, you know, the usual stuff weapon, here, end of fight the line, end of fight line, health meter, health meter, health meter right? All of this stuff. Five, I turned that off. Blocking. I don't use that. I don't use that either. Type, navigation, navigation 50, right? But right here, cameo form. Cameo form. Just the volume of a sound that plays each time a cameo changes its form. The sound plays both a common tone as well as an audio sweetener that indicates the exact form the cameo is in. 50%. Left and right button. Change. Up and down button. Navigate. Circle button back. Cool. Okay. So Triangle what NRS did, points. and I'm going to showcase this uh, in, in the, in the, in the, when I go into the practice section. Uh, so I'll, I'll get to that. But essentially what they did is, and with Tremor, when you are switching uh, the different variations, you hear when it's like rocks, um, and then you hear when it's like lava, and then you hear when it's like crystals. Like there's actual sounds. 
uh, that that accompany the character when they switch. Now with Chameleon, you hear uh, Melina sigh for for her variation. You hear uh, Jade Staff for the um, uh, you know for the uh, uh, I guess I guess what yeah for her staff sorry, and then for Kitana you hear her fans which are do I will say though I did turn them up. Um, I I do wish that they will probably need to separate maybe make two toggles one for the specific uh you know that that focuses on the character uh sounds and the other one for the main that the main sound because there is two there's two sound cues that, that that occur it's like this uh low the tone that tells you that you are moving uh the variations and then of course that that uh you know when the character switches so it plays right after uh, so maybe s separate those so we can customize those further. That, that that's just an idea though. But I mean, it does it does uh, help, uh, but it, it does get buried amongst like all of the sounds that are happening. But you know, but once you get used to them, you can distinguish them. Now I'm gonna show you guys, and I will turn down the music as well since a lot of uh, blind players do play the music with the music off. So I will do that. But yeah, those are so these are the two main things um, that are are um, uh, you know that have been implemented. Now, of course, I do want to uh, uh, talk about like crossplay, so I'll we'll, we'll get to that point, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so here we are on the uh, um, on the online uh, mode uh, where you have uh, you know your rank, casuals, uh, private, king of the hill, all that stuff, right? Um, so there is a new there is a new tab now, and it's uh, for crossplay. So it's it, it says social. social so what's cool about this Cross from what i can tell data. is that you would link your uh your id your uh your wp id and that's how you can connect with other other players uh so right now uh friends. square button so at wb friend triangle at wb refresh. friend game invites game invites Square i have wb no friend invites requests. friend requests i have no Square friend requests players met Squ block players friends Squ this main menu WB reads friend. profile jota underscore universe matrix takis alpaxter super blind man star 28 slow blind player zero zero so these are players that i have that uh, maybe that th they did link their profile their ids maybe and that's why it shows blind, here. Blind Ohio, blind si Captain underscore your shot, blind sight blue, profile level three. So Princess adding one hundred and six, and a new a new uh, uh, player is going to be interesting. Uh, so yeah, but so far this seems to be reading, which is awesome. Um, blind believer nineteen. Uh, this this is great. Profile level. So the WB. Uh, experience like setting up your WB gaming uh, 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 names and all that with crossplay. I haven't fully tested yet, but I will put out a, a short video, I guess, when I've figured that out. But these are all the people that I have here. Block players, players met, MC Raw's IPS, profile level 161, up and down button, Dante E2K. So it's reading all of the players as well that I came across, whether it's Combat League or I actually just, uh, at the time of recording this video, I just finished playing in the tournament. Um, so, awesome, you know? So that's cool. Um, this reads. Let's go to block players. Square button add friends. Square button add WB friend. Okay, so this, of course, the you know this is where the PlayStation should take priority of the screen reader and should read it, but it doesn't. Uh, so this is a PlayStation thing. This is that another realm studios thing. Uh, so, or maybe they can implement that somehow. I don't know, but yeah. So this is where you would like uh, type in the name or uh, a friend's name. You press square, right? Block players. Same thing here. Block players. I want to block someone in particular. Type the name here, and you press, you know, confirm or whatever. Uh, so okay. Well, that's no problem. I mean, I could probably do this by hooking up a keyboard and then typing it out. You know, uh, that'd be another way to do it too. Um, game invites. Same here, right there. So this is where you would do this. Okay. So yeah, this is a PlayStation thing. Um, it doesn't read the keyboard. Uh, so yeah. Okay. 
But yeah, but as far as like overall, uh, you know, it's it it once I guess once you add your friends and stuff, it'll add it to the friends list and you can go through them. So that's pretty cool. That is awesome. So so the social tab is it's great. It's working. Um, also another thing is since we're here on the online menu is if you press triangle now it gives you the uh, uh the objectives of the season of this combat league season so i'm gonna pre i'm not gonna go i'm gonna we're not gonna listen to the whole thing but i'm just gonna press uh let's see you're gonna press triangle and listen to this combat league rewards season of the huntress 47 days left tire one rewards apprentice scorpion gear 250 seasonal credits Profile foreground and background. Combatant. Katana gear. 250 seasonal credits. Profile foreground and background. Warrior. Lime gear. No Lina palette. 500 seasonal credits. Profile for. Awesome, and it just and it just keeps going, right? It reads the the entire uh, list all the way to like Elder God. Uh, so you can listen to that, of course. Again, as, as a lot of people are talking about, is that you want a screen reader that reads a little faster because it's it's a lot to take in, and it's uh, you know it's it's pretty slow uh, for a lot of us. But hey, it's we got something. It's cool. Now, so that there's that that's basically uh, our part of the online. So there we go. So before we move on, uh, just to recap, uh, everything reads in this game pretty much everywhere. The store we talked about this in a previous video. The store reads. Uh, you know, the combat card, uh, the, the extras where you use the shrine, uh, and everything. So, yeah. So, awesome. Anyway, so now, with, without saying that, I'm gonna go to the practice mode. And we're gonna take a look at, uh, one of, one of the major things that I, uh, I, I actually requested this. And a lot of people did request this, uh, for, um, uh, for practice. And, uh, and, of, and also we'll take a look at the cameo sounds about, with uh, Chameleon and Tremor. So, cool. Uh, let's do practice mode. Okay, so here we are in the character select screen. And one thing I do want to point out that I want to thank NRS for this. Uh, shout outs to Jordan and the rest of the UX team uh, for taking care of this suggestion. Uh, is when you are in the character select screen uh, for us blind players, uh, we don't need to necessarily hear it's, it's player one or player two. I mean, you should know that already uh, when you, you know, uh, uh, pop up into the game anyway. Uh, so what's cool about it now is that if you just browse the characters, it just it just says their character names and you just move on to the next one. Kenshi, Lime, Sub -Zero, Reptile, Scorpion. There we go. Cross now it was like this at, at, for, at the at, during the beta, but then when the game came out, it it, it would say player one and player two, which is you know I know they were trying to do give us extra feedback, but sometimes we don't need that extra you know feedback. Uh, but they understand that now, right? Uh, so. The, where it still does that though, it's in cameos. <laughs> there it is, player one, right? So it still does it so that, which is you know, I'm I'm sure maybe on the next update they'll probably take that out because you really don't need us, you don't need it to say player one. Uh, so at this point, y'all, we are basically looking at very minor things, very minor things, uh, and everything. Whoa, there is one major thing though. That I want to point out before we move on, but it's it has to do mainly with the PlayStation 5 UI. Uh, basically, the screen reader on the PlayStation 5 has this thing that, um, for those who are familiar with audio ducking, essentially when the screen reader, um, in case you're not familiar with it, that's what I meant to say, is that when the screen reader uh, starts talking, the rest of the audio... Uh, gets gets brought down and then when the screen reader finishes speaking it comes back up again and so the playstation 5 has always had that feature since it came out like uh they never added like a toggle or something to turn that off uh so you know because it does kind of take you away from the immersion a little bit when you're browsing like you hear the music and stuff the ambience the characters standing there or whatever but then Player one. Uh, you hear that the the music that. itself came you way down open. and the screen reader you know Navigate. starts speaking and stuff so that does not happen Sorry. on PC and Xbox Cross and I'll show you guys uh, after we go through this practice button. but anyway so let's Navigate. move on uh, but yeah that is a major thing that select. it's specifically Circle to the PlayStation back. 5 which is audio ducking and that's you know something that I hope that you know maybe Sony can do something about that because it's, it's not it's not NRS when it comes to this that's not NRS that's uh, PlayStation it's their 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 screen reader that does that 
and there's no toggle to turn it off or something like that. And we've been asking for them to turn at least at least give us a toggle for that, please, you know? So anyway, alright, so let's pick the characters here. I'm going to pick um player one. I'm going to pick Chameleon for player one and for player two, we're going to pick uh let's see. CPU opponent. Tremor. Tremor. Awesome. Tremor. Oh, cool. Alright, so let's do this real quick. Alright, alright. So when I get back into that when I when I'm in practice mode, I will turn the music down so I can point out the sounds that are specific for fighting. So we'll we'll get to the practice section. All right, so here we are in practice mode, and uh, what I wanted to point out about cameos now, uh, because, well, we don't know if any uh, other characters are going to have this feature or not, but uh, Tremor definitely does come with, uh, 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 you know, his three variations uh, that, that he uses throughout it that when, you, when you use him. And Chameleon, of course, switches between the, all the, the three female ninjas, ninjas, right? So you guys are hearing this sound on, on my left side right now. Uh, and that is basically because I'm using Chameleon, uh, and it's switching around by itself, um, you know, through each character. So I'm going to point them out as, as you hear them. There's this tone that happens, but also it, it's accompanied by, by, uh, uh, assigned weapons. So we're about to hear Melina right now. Here we go. That's Melina. And then six seconds pass, or it feels faster now, actually. That's going to be Jade. And that is going to be Kitana. So that that it's that's it's going to be like that. I will say though that I did like the original sounds where uh it had this its own unique sound where M Malina Malina's was low, uh, Kit uh Jade's was kind of mid pitch and then uh Kitana's was high pitch accompanied with their weapons. Uh so that was another thing that it had. Uh, but other than that, like, I think I can get used to this, but, you know, it's gonna take me some time. Uh, so, but yeah, uh, that, that is, uh, that is, um, uh, what do you call it? So that's Chameleon, that's what the sound kids you'll be hearing as you're, as you're fighting. So, yeah, that's Kitana right there. I was talking, but I was paying attention this whole time. Alright, so we're gonna switch to Tremor, and we're also gonna point uh, how to look, look for the sounds. Okay, so as that's going on, I, I'm, I'm here with, uh, Tremor. So, if, if right now, what Tremor always starts with, uh, with, uh, um, his first variation, um, and it's the one with the rocks, where he throws his rocks, right? So, when you switch, I'm about to switch to his metallic variation, which is more lava-based, and try to listen carefully how there's a lava sounds that goes with that, with that, with that sound as well, to your, if, with, on your right side. So, it's... Uh, let me see. All right. Uh, let me see. There we go. Okay. That right there is the lava variation, right? Metallic. But now I want to go to crystalline. You hear those crystal sounds afterwards. He does that. And now let's go back to uh, the first one. It's more like rock based, right? So um, now I'm able to do this. Those, those rocks, right? Uh, so then the lava variation. And now we have... You know, diff different moves, right? And then the crystalline variation. And this is where we can set up his... Um, I ran, out, I ran out, out, of, out of bar. Okay, so let's... That's the lava variation. And then we have the crystalline variation, which... We can summon the armor, right? Or or whatever that is. So, yeah, it's, it's one of those sounds that you gotta just gotta keep up with. Uh, a lot of a lot of blind players play without music, uh, you know, music very low or whatever. Uh, so I turned down mine on purpose, but I think uh, you should be able to distinguish it. Uh, right there, that was Jade, by the way, <laughs> with Chameleon. Um, and there's the fans, right? There's the fans. Uh, but yeah. Crystalline. I ran out of bar. Okay, so let's see. 
so yeah uh those are the sounds so again those this these those are the kind of things that you have to get used to as you play like you just gotta familiarize yourself with them but they're there what's cool about them remember you can turn uh the volume up or down like there's a slider in the settings section uh to adjust these sounds if they're too low for you then hey crank them up to your liking so yeah so there it goes so another thing i wanted to talk about is uh in practice mode uh this was very specific so when you go to practice mode practice settings match customize p1 of course volume. all of this stuff reads so it's Change it's P1 awesome volume. like i this is basically what i always volume. wanted in previous mortal kombat games remember settings. okay remember setting fighter position reset distance. fighter position all of this stuff all of this Select. stuff reads reset so position left center update center right you know so all this stuff reset reads distance. um p1 position toggle one, one position meters on the meters p P1 life percentage. This is life percentage. Select this is to like practice. P1 Let's P1 say if you want to set your character to already have fatal blow, 24. then you put him at 30%, right? right well, before when Change. I used I used to slide this uh, area here, Navigate. it would it would it would not read it. The screen reader just keeps talking changes. like it's doing right now. But now look at this. 20, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So right there, right uh, P2 life. P1 player one percentage. has I have my fatal Select blow uh, turned on now, uh, and player reset. two. Let's say I also want to have put him in fatal blow status. P thirty one thirty twenty P two life percentage. Yeah, player two, and then Select I just the left the right. Thirty one. It's a thirty one right now. Thirty. Thirty percent. So that was again. It wasn't reading, and they fixed it. So they they you know they totally fixed that. So yeah. Um. Reset match. And of course, you know everything else here reads. So it's, it's not a problem. Move list. Uh, move list, of course. Pause you button you know button. that this stuff reads, right? Up Everybody knows button. now. Um, Smoke. Facing left. Basic attacks tab. Normal attacks. Quick cut. Square button. Damage. 20.0. Right. It reads, it, it reads all of that stuff, right? So, but yeah, that is something that I definitely wanted to point out. Uh, basically, we have full access to the practice menu now. Like, everything. Uh, let's see. Um, I know that they added other features too. Control. Main menu. Characters. Practice. Let's go to practice. P two team settings. Customize global practice mode settings. Metallic. Left and right. Ooh. Aftershock. Left and right button. So Change. I can I can set this Open up. Uh, and this this stuff Navigate. reads. So this is for practice specifically for cameos changes. that switch around. Like Circle let's say I always want to start with. Metallic. metallic i'll just press it here and i right confirm button. and then just you know go Change. back to the practice mode crystalline the crystalline right uh go button. here just select it Change. and same thing p1 team setting for team one my lena random left and it right says button. random so it's randomized Change. right now but let's say every time i want to start my lena. with melina so right i'm gonna put uh, melina here actually up and down button and now there it is so now if i do something with with uh with uh, Molina, then it's gonna say let's Move actually switch to type. player one. Practice set map P1 cameo. Uh, P2 cameo. Remember setting fighter position. Reset this P1 position. Reset distance. Let's see. P1 cameo. P1 control player. Toggle with. All right. So I want. Let's say I want to control player one. Practice setting match. P1. There we go. And now. We start with Molina every time I press the touch pad to reset my position. So, yeah. That is really, really cool. The fact that I was able to do it. I wasn't. I didn't have to worry about the screen reader not reading it. It, I, it just did it. And, yeah. That is the power, the power of having accessibility for blind players right there. So, kudos to NRS for that. Um, and all that good stuff. But anyway, so I wanna, I'm gonna show you guys uh, the PC port now. And I wanna show you just a few differences that it has. And of course, it now caught up with the console versions. So, let's do that. And I'll see you guys on the PC version. 
Okay, you guys, so I had to show you the PC port of uh, Mortal Kombat 1 uh, since we're discussing accessibility for blind players and we're talking about the screen reader and all, all the things. Uh, of course, uh, as I was on the PlayStation 5, I did mention audio ducking, which is when you m browse the game and the screen reader begins speaking. It uh, takes over and it uh, the rest of the game sounds go down and then they come back up when the screen reader is done. It, that's called audio ducking. So... It only happens on PlayStation 5. Xbox players let me know right away that they don't have that. They don't have to deal with that stuff. Um, but uh, X PS5, uh, which that's where I play the most, uh, we had that. But of course, I'm on PC as well. So I wanted to show you guys uh, that on PC, it doesn't do that. Like the music is playing right now and everything. And then what it does, it actually uh, reads and it does. It, you're, still, you're still immersed in the game. Navigation assistant, cameo form. Adjust the volume of a sound that plays each time a cameo changes its form. The sound plays both a common tone as well as an audio sweetener that indicates the exact form the cameo is in. Awesome. So that's the that's the cameo Gameplay form that I was talking visual. about. Screen screen reader volume. Adjust the volume. Twenty five percent. I like it at 20%, so I'm going to keep it down there. But notice this whole time the music is playing, but it's not messing with the game audio. Like, it's not take, taking over the game audio. So that's why. Uh, so what's happening is um, now that all, all platforms have their own screen reader, uh, what's cool about the Xbox and PC, because it's Microsoft products anyway, so they're going to be pretty similar um, in, in terms of experience. So, you know. Uh, that that basically I'm sure a lot of you guys who maybe are new to uh, who are, maybe are not new to screen readers because this is the text to speech that you hear a lot in a lot of video, YouTube videos uh, but it, it's this is at what, what's that's what blind players use to navigate things like menus browse your computer and stuff like that right but anyway um, so with uh, with Microsoft with the, with the, this latest patch with Mortal Kombat on PC specifically it's recognizing that the, the Windows already has a narrator uh, installed and as well as third-party screen readers like in my, myself I have third-party screen readers I installed already so but it recognizes that hey there's a screen reader here so I'm gonna use it you know uh, so it did that and it switched to uh, to this particular one uh, as, as Microsoft if my, uh, this screen reader is uh, it's actually it's called David and it's by Microsoft so it's Microsoft David that's what it's using so, but I just, I love the fact that it's not audio ducking. Like it really keeps you in, in the game, like big time. So I don't know. I might play this version until Sony does something about the audio ducking situation uh, and all that stuff. But anyway, so yeah, I wanted to show you guys. Uh, of course, look with the uh, uh, real quick with the sounds with gameplay the with the extra audio with the cameo feedback. sounds. Gameplay assist. Navigation. This is what I was referring cameo to. Form. The cameo form. You can crank it up. 30. 40, 40, 70%, 70%, 80%, you know, and it goes through all of the sounds, so you can crank it up to the max. 90%, 100, 60%, right? So it's cool. 50, 45%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50
Scorpion. So this wasn't this was this, it, this was not like this before in 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 the PC yeah. version. It wouldn't read it. So Triangle and button. then same thing with the cameos. So I'm going to Ashra. Oh, I love how he does an audio dog. I love it. Cross button. Omni Man. <laughs> so of course, like on PlayStation and Xbox. It still says player one on here, but hopefully, like I said, on the next update, maybe they update that. So, yes. Awesome. Now, while I'm here, I do want to check the online mode uh, to see if if it reads. Let's go to online. And you know how you choose your character here? Ashra. Oh, nice. Kenji. Nice. Ashra. Ashra. Player one. Player one. Serena. Right, so same thing. Right, so same thing. Um, Cool. Okay, well, if I press triangle. Combat League rewards. Season of the Huntress. 47 days left. Tier one rewards. Same thing. Okay. What about here? Uh, When I press square. So, okay. So, yeah. This right here. Let me point this out because I know that this is one area right now in the entire game where it doesn't read at all. And this is in all consoles. Uh, so in play on PlayStation 5, on uh, Xbox Series S and X, and on uh, PC, this does not read right now. See that? So of course, sighted players, you know, doesn't matter to them. But for us, this I, I, I want to know what's, what's here, what's going on here. Um, that's it pretty much. Other than that, we are good to go. Um, and everything. So I'm not even going to touch on invasions because, uh, rest assured, it's pretty much like the, the, the same, like everything reads and I showed that on my previous video. So it's the same. It's going to be the same here. So yeah, this, so, but honestly, this is the version I'm going to be playing the most. I'm glad I have it on, on, on PC as well. Uh, but yeah. So with that said, y'all. Uh, that is it. I think this video kind of took too long. Uh, I, sh I wanted to just kind of make it short, but I wanted to make sure we covered everything. So with that said, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys find anything else. Uh, oh, and another thing too, I forgot to mention. Uh, we can do this in real time right now. Um, I'm going to do this in real time. For Combat League, it now reads when the opponents are wired or wireless and you get to pick now. So I'm going to search for an opponent. Versus rag. And watch this. Circle button. So it's searching for an opponent, right? And everything. I almost forgot. Connecting match. Versus ranked. Opponent found. Wired connection. Cross button accept. Circle button decline. So of course, unfortunately right now, I had to decline because I'm not going to play right now. But we clearly heard it said wired connection. So if I was to pick that match, I'll just, you know, press uh, 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 confirm and just move on, right? And play the match. And if it says wireless, you know, whatever. So I'm glad that we're not included in being able to pick that as well. So thank you NRS for that. Um, that's 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 really appreciated. So yeah, but like I said, that's that's it. Uh, this video took way too long now. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more accessibility updates for Mortal Kombat One. Uh, as I will be continuing to do so every time the new patch comes out. So if you are if you know of anything else in the comment section, uh, please don't hesitate to let me know. Uh, and how are you liking this experience? Uh, if we if you are a blind player, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this new patch. I sure am. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, it's this is great. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. This has been Rattlehead signing out. Peace.